Hello everybody, this is George Lopez here in Alice Highlight Tech and in this short uh, screencast I will show you how to add <coughs> fonts to um, the Apple Pages um, program. So to start off first, first of all, um, those of you in Alice L, you know that you have recently gotten a new MacBook and the new MacBooks do not come with Microsoft Office. I know that for some of you in primary this has been an issue because there are certain fonts that you like to use and now you don't have access to those. So uh, here is a short, um, here's a workaround to that that will hopefully come in handy for the few times when you need to create those documents. Um, so first of all, Pages is a, few, uh, it's a free application that comes with Apple products and you can ask you, uh, if you don't have it installed in your computer, you can get it from the App Store. So to get to the App Store very quickly, you, uh, you have an icon here called, uh, it says App Store. If you go ahead and click on that, you can go ahead and click on here, uh, Apple Pages, and here you will see it show up. Now, the first thing you will notice is uh, here's Pages, and for me it says Open because I already have it installed. If you do not have it installed and you need to download it, it will say on here it should be it's free, so it doesn't cost anything. It should be go ahead, it should say either here install or download. So that's how you can get access to it. All right, if you don't know how to um, download stuff from the App Store, that is a different tutorial. But for those of you that can get this, this should help. All right, so let's go ahead and move on really quickly. I no longer need this. So here is a document that I have. It was created in Pages. So yeah, for those of you that are used to Microsoft Word or to Google Docs, this is kind of a, the interface is kind of like jarring. So it's definitely different, but it will work for you. So the other thing I wanted to let you know is that um, you need to go ahead and find the fonts that you want. So um, there's a lot of places on the internet. I will go ahead and make sure I include uh, a couple of links to places where you can download fonts um, in the, um, the description. But uh, here we go. So what I've already done here is I have a document that I'm going to try this with and I've already downloaded a couple of files right here. So these two files here are both fonts. And when you download them, uh, normal, normally they will be in zip files. So you can see here the extension at the end says zip. So you will need to unzip them. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one first. It's called Walter. So when I double click on it, it will either create a folder like this. You know, here are some folders on here. Or it will create a document that looks like this. So as you can see here, when I clicked on this, it created this file called Walter. So for those of you that don't... Um, I wonder what that means that uh, this will go ahead and show you uh, what it is in a second on here. So when I double click on it also, you will see that um, this comes up. So here you go. Hopefully now you realize why it's called Walter after Walt Disney, but here is the font. Notice that this font does not have anything else besides the ABCs. Um, doesn't have numbers, uh, punctuation marks and so forth. So you would not have access to those. Uh, if you install this font, you would not have access to those items. But I'm going to go ahead and install this font. So once I open it here, you can see here it says install font. So I'm going to go ahead and click install font. And it'll take a little second on here and it tells you on here there's a problem on here. Of course, what it's telling you is that um, there may be certain issues with uh, part of the font. But let's go ahead and click uh, the icon and install, uh, and install it anyway. So I, have went, I went ahead and installed it now. And now I have the font here, Walter. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now some of you may be going, okay, so let's go ahead and select the font on here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and go select the text that you want to change. So there it is. And then go to, um, go here to format and you will see font. Under font, go ahead and show font. And the thing that you will notice is that you will not see the font Walter right now because, uh, here I'm going down here because you need to go oh, actually you do see it right here so let's see if it'll let us do it so click here and now what you can see here is that it has changed the font to disney all right so that is what that looks like i want to go ahead and show for those of you that are kinder teachers how to bring in a different type of font that i know can be helpful for your little ones as they're working on penmanship and writing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and undo what i just did all right, so we're back to normal on here. And this time we're going to go ahead and try this with this other font on here. It's called, um, I downloaded it from the internet, but here it is. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. It's going to create a folder. So I want you to see here. So here is the folder that it created. It is no longer a zip file. So here it was a zip. It's no longer a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder. 
And in this folder, you're going to see, um, again, if it creates a folder, you're going to see multiple files on here. So here I have one, two, three, four different files. You want to look for this TTF files, those are the font files. This text one does not, um, it's not important. So these are the ones that you want. So this folder actually has four different fonts on here that I can go ahead and install and they're all a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and pick um, this one right here, the KG primary dots line, lined. So I want this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Here we go. You can see it, it all came up on here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and install the font. And now here it tells you, notice here's my font on here and it's going to be lined. This is what it's going to look like. So it should be, in, it's ready to go, ready to be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab on here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the text that I want to edit. In this case, MTSS and what you need to know about it. Insert, uh, oh, sorry, go to Format, Font, Show Font. And the font that you want, again, was called Kimberly. So you have to find the title of it. So in this case, here it is, KG Primary Dots Line. So that's what I want. And once I click on it, notice that it has changed the uh, it has changed the uh, the font on here, and I can make it bigger if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here for my little one. So I want to make it bigger. In order, I can go ahead and make it this bigger. So there we go. That is how you add fonts to uh, pages. Now the other thing that you can do now is now that it's been created, you can go ahead and maybe you're creating a PDF. So students can practice certain writing on there. You can go ahead and click File, pay, on the pages, you click File, and you could go ahead and click Export to, and in this case, you can go ahead and export it as a PDF or as a Word document, um, and of course, Word files are, are able to be opened with, uh, with Microsoft, uh, sorry, with Google Docs, so there you go. I hope this little tutorial was helpful, and if you have any additional questions, please go ahead and feel free to contact me. You know where to find me. Thank you, and have a great day.